So back out with RB again guys and final test ride for our customer and this is the Lexmodo Euro 5 Titan in red and black. As you can tell it's been a bit raining, she's due in for a clean shortly but to show you the bike um, and obviously this one is a ride test for the customer to see his bike being ridden and showing that the bike rides correctly. Taking it off the main stand your standard Titan dash on this, speedo to the left, rev counter to the right, fuel tank in the middle. Takes around about five and a half, six litres in these tanks. So on a fill, takes you right up to full, which is what we do on every Titan. We always put five litres of fuel in. Now this has already got 14k on the clock. As I was away on holiday last week, my other test rider, Taylor, has done the first ride for me. And obviously Taylor has not got a drift cam on his crash helmet or any type of uh, recording. So hence why I am going to be doing the final ride test and the video on this, as we do for every customer that buys a bike from us. Get a ride test in so they can see their bike being ridden. Once it's had its ride test, it's into the garage. And we are going to be doing a clean and a full ACF on this one, as we do on every bike. Every bike should have a coat of ACF on it just for that uh, extra bit of corrosion protection. It's had the QCs, the P all the QCs, the PDIs are all done, bike rides absolutely perfect. But obviously just to get the final test mileage on it, which means, quick run down the dual carriageway, just to check she runs at 40 to 45 mile an hour, which he has already done for me. And then a quick blip around town. And it's good to know that we've got plenty of fuel at the garage. Obviously, we went and uh, they went and filled up for me last week before the uh, fuel crisis all kicked in. And uh, if you've seen my last video, trying to queue for fuel last night for my car, hour and a half wait, and I was down to my last couple of miles. So out, checking the rear brake, all good. In on the front brake, and all good. And just sitting to the near side so the lorry driver can see me in his mirrors, keeping my space cushion and just waiting for the lights to change. Now as I said before, the mirrors on these Titans are absolutely perfect, got a nice wide view to the left and the right, and I've literally got that much of my shoulder in the mirror. So nice wide mirrors on this, perfect view of the road behind. One thing I do like, and I never ever trust mirrors though, always prefer to do my shoulder checks. And obviously this bike is going all the way down with the carrier to Surrey to our customer to be delivered which is obviously the issue that we've got with carriers at the moment carriers trying to find petrol to obviously do their deliveries but hopefully he has said to me obviously with a carrier delivery at the moment expect a window of three to five days because they are trying to stack all the bikes together in one van and try and limit their runs rather than do individual single bikes so that is an issue you might find getting deliveries at the moment and obviously trying to get carriers to uh, get anything down to you so obviously dominating the lane sticking sort of one to two on my lane positioning sitting at a nice steady 45 mile an hour absolutely lovely rides absolutely perfect and seating on these Titans, lovely and soft, it is super soft on these. So if you are using it as an urban commuter, then you can obviously get the mileage out of these. And average fuel consumption on something like a 125 Titan or any 125, you're looking around about 80 to 90 miles to the gallon out of one of these. Little 50s do a lot more, you get 100 plus out of one of those Echoes. But something like a Titan tank should last you a week. Well, it's probably going to cost you about 10 to fill it up. Anything between about 8 and 10 quid to fill it up. But happy days, all good. And they have changed all the roundabout again down here. Obviously a lot of new builds going up again. New industrial units going up to the side there. And yet again another Tesco's. Another storage yard I believe or some sort of uh, unit but around town pottering around on one of these absolutely lovely 
not an issue at all and obviously the Titan is probably one of the best selling scooters that you're going to get but the Euro 4s are alright and if you've seen my comments on the Euro 4s Titan scooters were great apart from the exhaust guards had a, a tendency to keep falling off they did have an issue with the Lambda sensors that was resolved most of that was done under warranty but the new Euro 5 Titans fingers crossed so far we've done about 30 to 40 of these so far and we've not had a single issue on the Euro 5 Titans the only things that we do find obviously on the PDI was the issue with the, uh, the horn buttons or the horn itself or sometimes the lighting relay but that was only the odd one or two you are going to get quirks with any new bike that's just been released that is a new model and obviously it's got new, the new uh, Euro 5 motor in it as well all of the Euro 5 motors now have a catalytic converter in them down in the exhaust pipe and if you're thinking of trying to pinch catalytic converters there's no money in these so absolutely useless there's a lot of catalytic converters and DPFFs going on at the moment in Milton Keynes jacking up cars just to uh, unhook the DPF or take the cat for that precious metal I don't know why but that's just people for you the next thing obviously is going to be uh, are people going to be stealing fuel out of cars because of the shortage so ride test over 18k on the clock very happy with the response of the bike brakes are all good indicators are all good horn all works so back to the garage still not had my early morning cup of coffee yet and it's around about 9 p.m i've been 9 a.m i've been in for the last two hours and not had a drink yet so i'm going to try and get back and have a cup of coffee before it goes cold again if you enjoyed the video obviously thumbs up this was just a quick one just for a ride test for the customer and me waffling on like i normally do don't forget as well, comments down the bottom if you own a Titan, what do you think of the new Titans? Let us know your thoughts. Go and check out all the other bikers in my comment section down below. All in the description tells you all the uh, bike channels to go and watch. Hopefully going to do a live stream this Friday so you can hook on and we'll be talking Lexmodo bikes and fuel shortages etc etc. Notifications bell, hit that, that will tell you when the next video in the series is coming up. And until the next time, when we're out test riding another bike, which is probably going to be about another hour, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.